Oof. More gold for me. Body slowly dragged across the creaky floor. Light flashes in the room from an unknown source. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way, before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, let's see, I have a choice of two or two. I think I'll pick two. The cost of two blood from the adder. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Uh... One power and six health from the river snapper. Now, choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. A sigil of mighty leap from the bullfrog. That's a pretty decent, um... Card? I never did ask your name. My name? Sim. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? Everyone say cheese. You do not need to smile. Hi, Sim Editor here. I record episodes of games like this live on Twitch. Find the link in the description below. And now for episode two. Round two. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. So this is the sort of roguelike, like one of one of the roguelike mechanics of the game, but it's a little bit, it's a little different than other roguelikes. In this case, I'm getting more capabilities to kind of play the same game rather than things becoming stronger. Uh, and some of the abilities we end up getting will be very, very meta, but it's fun. The rattler will kill my stoat was now a sleeping one three. Mm, nope. I choose not. But, well, maybe. Here we go. <laughs> this is the play. This is the play right here. Watching me, camera guy? Here we go. Stoat. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. And that's all I can do. Rattler does three. Ow. I can wait one more turn. If I wanted. But I don't want to. While I was asleep again? Yeah, strategically correct thing to do. You know this. And I put down the opossum paying two bones for the privilege. Are these items that I was left last time? No, these are new items. A bullfrog. But I do lethal this turn. And I don't want to change that. 
Now, with enough, uh, with a little bit of clever play and enough runs. Oh, oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Can I take a look at the rule book? It's beside the safe. Rule book. Ooh, this is unlocked now. It gives me a code and a dial thingy. <clears throat> that seems to indicate a U. Ooh, what's this? Okay, a, <clears throat> a squirrel and elk fawn in the picture. In these positions, apparently. I wonder what happens if I successfully play that setup. Is that code? Two, seven, three? Click. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt. Is... Is the, is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. I found a key. Uh, let's just go ahead and blow that out. Because of reasons. A key! Boop. And we have access to a couple of puzzles. These puzzles... This is really clever game design. In my opinion. These puzzles have everything to do with understanding how the play is game. This represents my hand. This represents his play next row. We have my row and his row of attackers. Hmm. Sounds like I have a package. So, if we understand, the better we understand the sequence of events that happens in a game, the easier these puzzles get. Well, I happen to know that all damage is dealt from left to right. And this is pretty straightforward. We need to get to five damage. This guy deals two, and then this deals one, then one, then one. So that's five damage total. Puzzle soft. And we get the skink. I had forgotten that I put that in there. Very well. You may add it to your deck. And I'll deal you one every so often. One puzzle down. So this is interesting. I just have to know what these rules are. Since I know them, but maybe for completeness, video completeness... Not everyone in chat does. I will read them from the book. <clears throat> so we have this shieldy flying thing. So this is that leaping block, right? This is flying. Don't know what this is. So we'll take a look in the book. And see if we can't find out what that is. Looking for the symbol right here. There it is. Loose tail. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Does it lose its tail when it happens? I can never remember. So, we have our options of moving this around. Obviously, if we have this set up, this two damage is blocked by this, so no damage gets through to the back line. We have the choice of doing something like this, which would do one damage because it's unblocked. Um, this creature has a loose tail. If it's attacked by this, no damage gets through and this creature moves to the left. And then, like, this creature would then attack it and also be blocked. So even if I had something like this set up, this, this creature can't be, cannot be moved. So I have to deal with that creature. So this does one, gets blocked, moves blocks this, stays there, and we get one more damage. I'm expecting to see two damage on the board here, right? Two damage, correct. So now, what happens if we don't hit that creature? We let it stay there. We do one damage. We do three damage. We do one more damage. That's five damage. And indeed, we've got it right. Ants. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. And we can continue solving puzzles. Now, let's take a look at how the ants work. Aha! Mm, 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 ah. Ants! No, ant, not the ant. Not, I don't want ant spawner. I just want to see the ant. Is it in here? Did I go the wrong way? 
flip into pages. That's an ant spawner. It makes ants whenever it something happens. A couple of different strikes. Here is here we go. Ants. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. So the value of each ants as as currently played. We're doing four damage because the ant is worth two, and this ant is worth two because there are two ants in the way. So that means essentially we're doing no damage to the enemy. Blocked and blocked, right? This card once again cannot be moved. So let's start figuring out how to do additional damage. Um. This is where things get advanced. Each of these ants is now worth three because there are three ants in play. This ant does damage to this guy who cannot move left because it's blocked. This guy does damage to this guy who does move left. So both of these are blocked doing zero damage so far. This one is flying. So it does two damage because it goes over this groundhog. And this one is unblocked or this lizard, whatever it is. This one is unblocked doing three damage. That should be five damage lethal. Solved. Curious. And one last puzzle. Now we look at this symbol and that symbol. We know this is thorn, or not thorns, um, quills. This is the escape room portion of the game. Bifurcated, bifurcated strike. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. <clears throat> and so voice crack uh, um so this is quills any creature that hits it will take one damage so in this case this creature is attacking here and here and avoiding this one altogether and also i can't move it um <laughs> and i can't move this either if this creature attacks if i move this one forward it will attack here getting hit by quills and die before it gets a chance to attack this way. So that is not part of the answer. Um, in this arrangement, does one damage, does two damage, hits this guy, he leaps over this way, blocking my three. So, and this guy can't be moved either. So I need to figure out how to, oh, I know what to do. Okay. Maybe this one survives around? This I don't know. I, I assume it gets to do its damage and that this is resolved at the end of end of combat. So I'm hoping this creature would attack this way doing one damage and one damage is quilled back on the queue. It also gets to attack this way. Um, which since this one attacks first, this lizard creature will have moved over here. Oh no, it's still going to have two health though. Hmm... Hmm. Can't move that. Can move that. One, two, moves, three, damage. I don't think this is, this is going to work. If I do this. One, two, three. Doesn't do any damage here. Doesn't do any damage. Oh, nope, that's not it. That's definitely not the answer. So I'm doing three. One, two, three. And nothing else. Um, Several minutes later. Yeah, this definitely has to come down to be contributing to the battle. <clears throat> and I guess, I guess it really comes down. Oh, I can't move that guy. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um, I'm ho my I'm hoping this assumption is right. He attacks over here, does one damage, immediately dies, does not get a chance to attack this way. Which would then mean this person does one, two, plus three is five. Let's see if that assumption holds true. 
It does. Okay. <clears throat> so any quill damage coming back I, it is, is resolved immediately. That's good to know. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. <clears throat> Sweet. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we've got all of those done. And there's nothing else we can do over here. Nothing we can do to this thing right yet. Oh, <laughs> we're still need to pick up this piece. <laughs> okay, put it down. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking for an elk fawn. To get a hold of it right there in this square to see if that helps us at all. Let us continue. The meager coyote. Oh, what did you expect for only four bones? It actually seems kind of expensive, but since it's paid for with bones. The nefarious rattler. A brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Um, can't see the map. I'm kind of like the idea of of the um, cockroach. It's... <laughs> you again? Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have. Another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. Now. <laughs> Sorry, Stoat. You're just so eminently... Again! You're just so eminently sacrificable. It's too funny. Um, Yeah. How about that? How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than, I, than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Where is the trapper? Somewhere? Uh, what do I have in my deck? Before I grab a new card, <clears throat> uh, I want to take a peek. Kind of scattered. But I've got some good low-cost cards. I've got a bunch of low-cost cards. Um, I need to get this caged wolf out for reasons. Uh, and I got a couple of bone play cards. So I could look for something with higher value. The sparrow? Sim? I met that guy once before. The stalwart snapper. A near impenetrable defense. I could either do the stapper, snapper or I could do the snapper plus. Snapper, snapper plus. Snapper, snapper plus. Um, I don't need items, so do we combine cards? Yes, this death, this undying of the cockroach means this is where we start getting up to breaking the game. <clears throat> the choice is yours. Who am I sacrificing? Cockroach. <clears throat> I'll go. Marvelous. Of course you'll go. But I don't want you to... Actually, that's a really good play. I hate to say it, but it's freaking solid. This isn't bad either. Actually, this is better. Sure. Empower me. The regal moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. Casey! Hi, Casey. <laughs> Casey's not a bad card. Thorn, uh, 
Quill's bifurcated strike for one energy. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. It means it's basically unkillable, but it doesn't only does a little bit of damage. Um, of the creatures I have, do I go for a high cost card? How would I pay for it? I think Casey's the way to go. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it, warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Um, okay. Well, I have to do something. Hmm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she's already deathless. I can upgrade me. The fire warmed the poor stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. I didn't get any overkill damage that time. Oh well. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Come to look at me pelts. Take a pelt. Free a charge. See the quality? One, two, three, four. Oh, I can sort them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bones. Heck yeah, give me that. Yeah, you're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I've considered. I spent all my money. So thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader, further down the path, would reward you for them. <clears throat> trader is somewhere. Do I want to combine some powers? Hmm. Putting something on stoat could be good, but what? I could consolidate and move the bullfrog over to stoat. Yeah, actually, I'll do that. Oh, wait. How are my items looking? I have two. Sure. <clears throat> and this is our chance to sort of break the game. Bullfrog? <laughs> it's me! Yes, it is, Stoat. Yes, it is. Yeah? All right. Mini boss time. Prospector. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. <clears throat> the incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector. Hee haw! That caged wolf. He did that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. Um, well, we're, uh, gonna do something like, this, and this, and this. So many bones. 
So I'll put the skink here because I know he's, he's gonna dodge out of the way anyway. Oh, well. Stink bug, can you please work on that? Shall we? We shall. Two damage. Coyote kills skink. I had the squirrel in the way. Oh, bad strategy. Casey. Casey can respond by going like this. <clears throat> Wolf Cup comes down, does one damage to Casey, and thorns. I love it. Unfortunately, the, the pack mule is on the move. But that's okay. I can be patient. I do two damage to him. Oh, but this wins, wins us half the round. <clears throat> There's gold in them cards. Hi, stink bug. Hi, stink bug. G gold. I struck gold. Um, you do realize my stink bug's immortal, right? <laughs> I have plenty of bones to put... Oh, don't get ahead of yourself. You need to draw a card first. Stink bug, go to work. Cracking! Blood hand, get him. Um, I can do this and be in a position to play Ant Queen. At the right time of the time of playing, but right now I just want to block some damage. Start planning ahead here. Boom. Okay, now. Now we're positioned to play some serious cards. Um, Bloodhound. Meat Wolf. Sweet. We get all those. <clears throat> um, especially if I just do this. immortal so I can do that um ooh nice now we're in happy shape giving them cards what do I get bag nab it um how many bones do I have <laughs> lots maximize maximize I can't get rid of gold nugget easily. But I can sacrifice... No, that wouldn't do me any good. Well, I guess this is it. Unless... Oh, I know what to do. This would actually... Oh, I need to draw a card first. <clears throat> this would actually... Give me more damage in the long run to do that. But now I'm just doing four uncontested damage. Turkey Vulture is a flying creature, so I put it here for an additional three uncontested damage. Yeah. Give me them teeth. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. We have the unsurprised, the uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. It doesn't cost anything to play. It's a 1-1. One, one. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. The Eternal Serpent 
Death strengthens it forever. And this is where we break the game. <laughs> Sounds like Captain Barbosa. There's no sense to be killing you yet, Miss Turner. There's no sense to be killing you yet, Miss Turner. So, Ouroboros. Broken card. Broken, broken, broken. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Yes! We finally beat the prospector. Next time, we face the angler. Remember to subscribe and enable notifications. Until then, this is SimGamerTV.